Hey everyone, so today ends our first day of uh, Lambda School. We just had our first class. Um, I'm here in Central Time, so we start at 10 a.m. this morning, and now it's about 6.53 p.m. And uh, you would get a daily schedule and you would know exactly what's going on, but um, it was a pretty good day. Um, and we had a really awesome instructor, uh, Josh, and we did some live instruction. We had some kind of uh, icebreaker with our teams, and uh, we had some time to work on our projects and also an hour for lunch. And then uh, we just finished our stand-up here, which is basically kind of just saying what you did today. Um, really enjoyed today, and we did a lot of use, user interface stuff, HTML tags, CSS selectors, and specificity. And we also worked on two projects, which is um, just how to semantically write uh, HTML so it has meaning. And also we worked on styling a web page. So this was the end of the second day. We went over the user interface part two of the Lambda curriculum, and we picked up a lot of things about uh, using CSS and how to reset the styles. Um, particularly, you can use Eric Meyer CSS reset or the normalize.css reset. Basically, you use those so that you can apply your own styles to uh, whatever web page that you're making. And we also learned a lot about the different types of uh, blocks, displays. So we learned to use inline block and how to use uh, something called border box. And it's just another way to style the web page that you're making. Um, it was pretty difficult for me since I haven't really used it before. I was always a Flexbox and Grids user. So uh, it took me a little bit of time, but we basically got a picture of a web page and we tried to replicate it using the uh, CSS skills that we were taught today. Overall, a pretty good day, and I'm looking forward to the next day. So today ends day three. We went over user interface part three, and basically today was all about Flexbox. We learned how to use um, different, um, I guess, uh, attributes to move the boxes around for the Flex containers and the Flex items. Uh, everybody seemed to be enjoying Flexbox a lot more because it's very easier to use and there were some great resources that we were given to kind of um, pick it up. Uh, mainly it's Flexbox Froggy was the, the website that we use but um, other websites include the CSS Tricks for sure and then West Boss also has a great Flexbox series that um, everyone should watch. Uh, pretty great day and we worked on our Pat, our previous website, just converting it from inline block to flexbox. So today ends day four, and we went over Git and GitHub. Um, Git is a distributed version control system to um, keep track of your code in certain periods of time and helps you collaborate with others to share code and to merge code together. And I've used it before, um, and everybody today, I think felt more comfortable than the other days because this is, uh, it wasn't too difficult to grasp. Um, the instruction was very well uh, taught as, as well during uh, the class today. And tomorrow will be the sprint. Uh, we're going to have three hours to work on our project, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, other than that, uh, it's a pretty quick day. I just used it to look at LinkedIn profiles from the students in the school and to kind of figure out the schedule coming up for the next uh, seven months and 20 days is what we have here. So that's it for today. So today marks the fifth day um, of Lambda School. Uh, I just finished around here around 3.30 p.m. And today was basically a sprint challenge day where we had three hours to complete a project that we forked from GitHub and then worked on and then submitted a pull request and there are also some stretch challenges if you wanted to do those as well. And we basically just covered all the material from earlier this week. Uh, basically user, user interface and Git and um, just pretty much the general workflow that you would experience in real life. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what we did in the sprint challenge, but it involved um, just you know doing layouts, uh, UI layouts and things like that. And it was, wasn't too difficult. If you paid attention in class throughout the week, uh, you wouldn't have a problem. Asked a lot of questions, and it was a great week overall, and I'm looking forward to next week.